Black Oak City leaders are looking to promote history and turn tourism around with a new museum. Northeast Arkansas' Simone Jamison has details. Black Oak Mayor Eddie Dunnigan is transforming a building with a painted mural near Highway 135 into the site of Black Oak's first museum. We have the band Black Oak, Arkansas, uh, Jim Mangrum, our Jim Dandy, uh, the lead singer uh, from Black Oak, uh, Arthur John Grisham, uh, author of a painted house about Black Oak. We weren't capitalizing on that in, in any way, any form. The museum will highlight Black Oak's golden days when logging, railroad, and cotton industries were booming. Mexican nationals were brought in to pick, and uh, people from the hills uh, would come down and pick cotton. And on, on Saturday night, you couldn't uh, you couldn't walk up and down the sidewalks of Black Oak because of the, the crowd of people. The Black Oak Museum will also share similarities with the Buffalo Island Museum in Monette. The Buffalo Island Museum features hundreds of artifacts, many dating to the 1900s and even 1800s, telling of the agriculture as well as the industrial history of the Buffalo Island District. The antique piano, mobile post office, and more are donations. Monette Mayor Jerry Qualls is happy to give them to the Black Oak Museum as it kicks off the ground. You can look at some of the old pictures we've seen and some of the roadways and this was all underwater and timber so we've got quite a few historic things like that. People are surprised when they come in here and see what we have. Mayor Dunnigan is counting on Black Oak's history to fire up interest in tourism, bringing businesses to a town of less than 300 people. For Northeast Arkansas News, I'm Simone Jameson. And they hope to get the Black Oak Museum up and running to the public in September of 2019.